The anger of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and His curse is real. It happens and it comes. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala becomes angry. As much as we've learned that He is extremely merciful, the most merciful, there are sometimes certain actions that we engage in that earn the wrath of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, His anger and His curse and His punishment. The Quran has addressed us as well as all mankind regarding the anger and wrath of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The idea of that is for us to take heed. We must make sure we are not engaged in those type of deeds. Because believe me, if you know, may Allah protect us, that a very, very powerful human being is extremely angry with you, I think it would give you sleepless nights. More so if we are to give you even a cheaper example, if you witness an angry lion outside there, nobody will leave this masjid. May Allah protect us. We are ready to fear an animal and we are not prepared to fear, to fear the creator of the entire creation. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala save us from hypocrisy. The first issue we need to remember is in Surah Al-Fatiha, which is the opening surah of the Quran. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala makes mention of a dua. And I've mentioned this dua where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Ihdina sirat al-mustaqeem. Guide us to the straight path. That is by far the most important prayer that anyone could make. Guide me to the straight path, O my creator. Guide us all to the straight path, O the one who has created myself and yourselves. Amin. Now the rest of the surah is connected to what the straight path is. It is the path of those whom Allah has favored, which means the prophets, the messengers, those who believe and do good deeds. And we continue to say, Ya Allah, save us from those who have earned your anger and those who have gone astray. So the meaning of the straight path is mentioned in the same surah and we repeat it so many times. And we all find ourselves saying, Ameen. We ask Allah to grant us that dua. Ya Allah, grant us the path of those whom you have favored and do not grant us the path of those who have earned your anger. That shows already that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has anger and we may sometimes be engaged in deeds that will earn or ask for the anger of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. What is referred to as the anger here? They are They are those who knew the truth but left it. That is who is being referred to by those who have earned the wrath of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The people of the book as well as all others who have known the truth. They knew what the truth was. They knew that this is what we are waiting for. We are waiting for this sign and that sign. When the messenger came to them with all those signs, they preferred to cover their book and turn it and twist it and hide it. And they preferred not to accept the message solely because of the fact that he was from amongst the Arabs and he was not from amongst them. The same applies to every single one of us. If we know the truth, we know the Quran, we claim to believe it, we claim to accept it, we know the messenger, we know the messengers, we know the revelation, we know the sunnah of the Prophet ﷺ. If we then reject it and turn away from it, we will earn the wrath of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And if Allah is angry with us, believe me, it spells doom for us. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect us.